but I'm not strong. Not like you. Forgive me. Mother. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another night of One Life, One Death. So last night, we did clear out the bandits that were hiding away underneath Whiterun, and I did gain a brand new bow out of it, but more importantly, I got a horse, which is going to be absolutely critical for the future of this series. Now, that was pretty much it for last night. And speaking of horse... We're going to be using it right away because I think what I want to do is I want to go to Helgen. And the reason why I want to go to Helgen is because I'm kind of thinking I would like to gain access. Ooh, let me just show you here. Gain access to Elixirs of Blood. But in order to do that, I need to make blood conserving files, which come from crafting from the forge directly. And in order to do that, I need to gain access to at least basic smithing. And in order to get basic smithing, I need to get... A craftsman manual now unfortunately because I am a vampire that means I'm very unlikely to be able to go to town and just pick up a, a craftsman manual just from anywhere so unfortunately I'll have to go find one myself out into the world the, the wood uh, the world and I do think there is one hiding away at Helgen so I think today 7 30 p.m. Um, maybe it just set up my traps here that way, if I do get attacked here, I'll be able to retreat. Oh, hold on. I actually forgot something. So you may have noticed I do have a bunch of bodies laying around still. And uh, to my, you know, dismay, where are we at for, um, we're at longing for blood. So there's actually blood I left in the corpses here. So that's pretty good. So now we're going to be at stage one. And that will be good for this session here. And the mission, again, for today. And there's also blood in here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. Just store that away. Right there. Blood when I get back for a snack. A little snack -um. So, yeah, the mission for today is to get that craftsman manual and put those perk points into smithing so we can start creating those elixirs of blood. Ugh, not a good night tonight. So we do have Midnight here. He is technically my horse. I do have access to the inventory now. Where are we here? Horse whistle? D yes. I think I do have him. Hold on. I think if I crouch... Oh, there we go. Okay, so... I don't have access to his inventory here. Uh, for those who don't know, if you want to just gain access to the inventory of the horse without um, pressing hotkeys, maybe for a little bit of, of immersion, you can just crouch beside your horse, press E, and that will give him his uh, little options there you can select. Oh, wait, I can adopt him. I will adopt you. Midnight. There we go. Now he's my permanent steed. Oh, jeez. Now I have to step up the responsibility of owning property. Oh, jeez. I don't think I have the money. <laughs> so Midnight has no saddle, unfortunately. I w will be riding him bareback. But I do have access to his inventory, which is absolutely wonderful. So, permanent steed. Nice black coloration. Technically... I would think to be the fastest horse in the game currently. I think so. I'm also just going to go for a little bit of a dip here just to clean myself up so I don't look disgusting. Smelly, smelly vampire. You know, it probably might be not a bad idea because I am at stage one now. Sated thirst. Maybe... a just kind of want to see oh what a nice night it is by the way like these weather patterns very nice very nice indeed but i do want to go to white run just to see how the guards will react to me because oh 
Oh, that's just a mammoth. Okay. I'm a little scared of, like, the saber cats. Again. Gotta keep an eye out for those saber cats. It will destroy everything and everyone you love. And everything you hold dear. So, yeah. Anyways, go to Whiterun just to see how the guards will react to me. And if they're gonna be, like, A-OK, -okay, then, you know, there's a chance I might want to consider... In the long run, just moving to White Run itself. Right now, it's looking like they might uh, be appreciative of my presence here. He's not attacking me at all. Okay, this is a good sign. Okay, so the odds of me moving to White Run are getting higher and higher by the minute, but we will be. I will have to explore that sewer at some point. I think I will not be moving to Whiterun right away. I will have to set up some amenities. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? Uh. <laughs> I will have to set up some amenities before I begin the big move. But I do think I will uh, move to Whiterun in the future. I think that will be the strategy. It's good to know that they're not attacking me now. Hopefully that will translate to hopefully me getting blessings from RK because RK will give you a 30 HP buff, which will be quite beneficial. Let's see if I can help these guys here. Eh, my... I don't want to like, okay, 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 okay. Oh God, I didn't kill my horse, did I? Okay, is, is he okay? I think he's okay. He's running scared. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Um, yeah, maybe we'll avoid the, the combating the giant. We got other... Other things. Oh, okay. So Midnight's doing okay. Uh, do I want to talk to you? I don't think I do. I'm afraid you might be like, Hey, I recognize you. You need to come with me now to go to prison. I'm like, okay, well, if I go to prison, it's all over. Because I'll wake up and it'll be like daytime and I'll be at stage four. Oh, that Discord again. Hold on. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Not only was my Discord making a little bit of uh, issues in the background, my Roomba activated but all by itself there, which I got for Christmas. And I hope your Christmas was just as wonderful and celebratory as mine. I like the Roomba, I should say. It does uh, alleviate a little bit of uh, the efforts that go into cleaning up a house and all that stuff. Kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, though. Just so you don't have to uh, empty out the content so much. That would be nice. That'd be very nice. So we are coming up to a place where the wolves are known to frequent. I'm not too worried. I do have my big axe now on top of um, the horse. Ooh, maybe... Did I get that? Oh, I missed. Dang. Okay. Be free. You earned your survival. I will pick up this uh, Mora Tapena. Tapenia? Tampella? I can't pronounce anything. I'm bad. I'm so bad at pronouncing things. I'm sure people who do watch my stuff may have uh, guessed that I'm really bad at pronouncing things. I will pick up that moth if I can. Come on. There you go. Maybe kill this, uh... This defenseless creature. There we go. Just to level up my two-handed skill a little bit. There you go. I'm satisfied. My bloodlust is satisfied. You better stay in there. I killed your brothers. You'll be next. That's right. He's scared. He's so scared. 
Not a lot of time in the night now. It's already 9 p.m. I better start skedaddling. At the very least, I should be indoors in Helgen by 12. I'm also hoping um, that there is going to be a bed at Helgen. So if I do need to spend the night, I won't just be standing there like a boob. Like I'll be able to sleep and rest. Right, but this is a very good sign, though. It's a very good sign. Oh, there's also some other mushrooms there. Mm. Yeah, screw it. I won't pick them up. But it's a very good sign that the guards are not just coming after me. That does open up so many more uh, possibilities that I otherwise didn't think I'd be able to do. Considering a couple of episodes ago, and what is it, like three or four, that I did start attacking some defenseless civilians... And I figured everyone would come out to get me because of that. But it appears everyone has forgotten all about me and my, uh, crimes against humanity. Oh, what's that? I should get that Nirn root, though, because that's good for poison. And one of these days, I will be getting to the alchemy game for sure. Especially now that I have two items that will give me a total of 24 more efficiency with my alchemy so basically more better alchemy potions 24 percent with a, a necklace and a leather hat i always found like the way like skyrim's oh yeah there was wolves right there should i bother right, let's do some wolf, wolf hunting oh they know what's going on Oh, how did I miss that? Come on. There we go. There we go. And that's good enough. My bloodlust has been sated once again. But I always found that uh, Skyrim's enchanting system, or even in Oblivion, it was a little bit funny. What's going on here, fellas? Hmm. That orc does have some good gear, though, but I'm kind of frightened. What now? Bardock. Huh? Odessa. Hmm? What do you got for sale, Take a Lonnie? Look. Maybe you've got some good stuff. Who knows? Not that I'd be able to afford it. I mean, he does have poisons. Do you have anything like a cheap... Mm, he's got... Ooh, waning magic. Can't have that though. And troops of trading. I almost feel like buying this because I'm kind of curious to see if it's like a book to where I can learn speech. I should buy the soap too. Uh, I need to make a decision quickly here. I don't have a lot of time to meander. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Always in a fear. Is that worth my time? Oh, it's so much. So many options. Uh, I will take your floral blend because I like to smell like a flower. And I will. If I want to take that. Oh, it's such a risk. I don't know if it'll even like do anything. I'm not gonna take it. Until next time. I'm not gonna take it. I forget if the book does allow you to level up your speech and all that stuff. I'm completely forgetful with that. I will admit to that. And now we have the standing stones. Now I'm thinking I'm not going to go for these stones yet. I would like to go for the Lord Stone. I think that would be most beneficial for this character here. But I forget where the Lord Stone is, which just makes it that much more enjoyable and interesting to find, I think. also a very good thing that the night is so clear fighting in the in the pure darkness while it's raining and stormy just makes for a bad time for everybody i feel i do hear some picking going on quite loud that pickaxe noise we are coming up to hell again now Oh, 
going on? I don't hear anything. And do I have my gear? Okay, this time I did remember to bring the arrows, thank goodness. And I do have the orcish heavy bow. I do have my light crossbow for sniping. Elixir of blood for emergencies and emergencies only. And I did forget to put the ale back in the bin like a fool. And that's my... Yeah, I forgot to do all this stuff. God effing dang it. Okay. Oh well, I don't suspect there to be too much loot that's going to be I don't know how to how to put this like too powerful. I do think there would just be bandits up here, so I'm not too worried. So, now it's time to bring midnight out to the back here cuz I don't want to put midnight in any harm. So I'm going to crouch and tell you to follow me to start and then I'm going to tell you to wait here and then you're going to wait there for me right behind this rock in the little bush to stay hidden very nice look at the crossbow so how am I going to approach this the problem is there isn't the problem is there isn't really a lot of advantage points to shoot from I may just have to go in there basically swinging that may have to be the strategy. Though I do see... Hopefully it isn't locked. You can almost shoot underneath, I would think. That seems almost kind of cheaty. Isn't it? Isn't it kind of cheap? Okay, so... Okay. Okay, so we're going to do this stealthily. It is 10 p.m., so we do have time. So we're going to do it like the United States Marines. We're going to pie. We're going to look and pie. <laughs> I don't know if people understand what I'm saying. Where it's like you look at sections and you sort of like look up and down and make sure it's like clear and you move on to the next little section and make sure it's clear. That way you don't like put yourself in a bad, precarious position. And always want to put cover between yourself and... And the enemy, everyone's probably watching. Like, wow, he's like a master strategist. He knows all the tricks and moves. I will learn under under this man. He will teach me everything about combat and walking over fire, charcoal, wood. It does. Oh, okay. I'm getting spotted by something. I'm actually quite exposed. This isn't actually good. Dang. Okay, I don't like this. I would like cover. I like cover. Oh, endurance perk available. That's good. That's good for camping. That's our camping perk. Getting active here. Okay. I see no bandits, but I did get spotted. So what spotted me? Okay. Okay, let's not rush into things. That's how you get killed. Oh, that's what probably spotted me. This little bastard. Get out of here. Disgusting. Okay, I think we're doing okay here. I might even consider just bringing the horse back then. I set that to my favorite. That way I can make my getaway escape. We do have some training dummies here, and I do have wheat. Okay, I'm gonna ride you just to position you. Oh, hold on, who's this guy? I think he's a nothing, and that's alright. I could kill him and maybe get some emergency blood out of it. Uh, it's too far away. I don't want to bring my horse away. Um, do I want to bring the get that that stuff there that straw it isn't weed it's actually straw which makes for good uh kindling for fire not kindling but um tinder what's in here nothing mm, yeah let's go okay so some battle there's some battling here. Mm. 
remarkable. Dang. Okay, I'm not gonna pick you up. Ew, college mage roads of adapt regeneration. Those wouldn't be too bad to sell. Because again, we have confirmed I can't sell items because the people will not attack me. Can I turn off that candle, please? I don't want that broom. Why did I pick up that broom? Up that broom. Get out of here. Broom. Mm, okay, so there's some nice stuff to smelt here. But we are on a mission, remember, to find that, um, yeah, that straw, I can, I'm just gonna grab that straw, and that into tinder. We're here to find that book, uh, that craftsman manual. I'm hoping it's here, otherwise we're just here as a tourist, basically. Yeah, there is nobody in here, it, it looks like. I could be wrong. It could all go tits up in seconds. Who knows? Okay, so I'm... Be hmm. Then manual. Where would you be? Might have to go even deeper, who knows? But there okay, that's a wooden light. Fortunate. Oh, I will take those bolts, however, thank you kindly. Oh, here it is, the craftsman manual. Nice. So we have confirmed it is here in Helgen. I'll just pick that up for myself. And then I can get a point into smithing. Awesome. Wonderful. Wunderbar. I'm not German. <laughs> I'll take that coin purse, thank you. Um, rock warbler eggs, you know, get some value out of this run here. See what we've got. Iron fork, mead, I need that again to empty and to make into glass so I can make those uh, building material glass. So this is actually a very useful run, I feel, just for the mead to empty into glass. Alright, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's turning into a very useful run. Okay, what else? Okay, Nord mead. What do we got here? Just ale. Yeah, I think that's a stamina. Nope, that's a potion. Don't really need that. I will take that. Take the salt. Should learn what the salt does. Kind of forget. Weakness to magic from salt. Don't really need that, but okay. Take that. Ooh, getting stuck here. Yeah, it's a good haul, if for nothing else, just for the glass. Pretty sure there should be enemies around here, though. No? There must be. I refuse to believe that there's, like, absolutely nobody here. Unless they all walked off, which is possible. Hello? Yeah, there must have been a pretty big battle here. You can actually uh, look through the bars. Oh, spider eggs. Take that. Iron kettles, good for smelting. Oh, can I just barely grab him? Ooh, there we go. A little bit cheaty, uh, I'll admit, but, you know. I mean, it's good gear. Why would I not want it? 
<laughs> Why would I not want it, hmm? Ooh, I like this. Steel Knight's great sword. That's nice. But what do I have here? Got the steel battle axe. Got two handed. Oh, I should be able to get barbaric might. I mean, what's the best defense? Uh, a good offense, as they say. So I think I'd want to focus on battle axes, though. Because I really want to make like a full ebony vampire with like uh, the ebony battle axe. I just think the ebony battle axe is just so awesome looking. So I think it would be better to like focus on that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. There we go. There we go. More more damage. 50% power attack. Stamina cost. Minus 50, I should say. Yeah, that's not bad. Ooh, spider venom. Rude, I'll take that. I don't want that. Take that, 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 that. Salt. Ooh, and a wooden torch. I'll actually take that. These iron torture tools aren't that bad for, like, weight. And cost, it's not too bad. This kettle, though, my goodness. <laughs> this is a, the craziest kettle I've seen. It might be the biggest kettle in all of Skyrim. So if you're looking for kettles, uh, there's one for you at Helgen. Uh, let's actually get wooden torch out here, just so everyone can actually see what's happening. There you go. More salt. Else is down here, I wonder. Hmm. Not gonna bother opening these up. Uh, but there is some gold in there. Is it worth it? Oh, I need at least five. Okay, well, never mind then. It'd be kind of nice. I think there is actually a mod out there that allows you to bash locks. I think that was a thing. Like, if your strength or weapon skills are high enough, you could actually bash the locks and that would uh, open them up. Yeah. Damage health, okay. Just fire. Juniper. Lavender. Luna. They're in root. Uh, should I even bother learning that? I think I have to. Store health. Oops, already learned that. Better egg. Zest. Okay. There's all the buffs that I have. <laughs> Pretty sure we're getting to a point where I think the enemies will start popping up here. No? Yes? No? Really, it is completely empty. Wow, okay. Um, fair enough. It'd be a way out of here then, because we did come, uh, did get what we came for, which is the craftsman manual. I actually like that. No. Okay, so now we're heading into like a cave section, it looks like. A little bit frightened by uh, what may come here. But I think this is the way out, so... Uh, what's up here, actually? I get so distracted. <laughs> like, oh, this is the way out, but what's over here? Might be candy. There might be candy down here. Uh, where's the candy? I was promised candy. I guess that's if, like, you fall down and can't really climb your way up. Yeah, okay. I understand that. Sort of like uh, the titular Bethesda hand-holding. 
Did you fall down a hole, Timmy? Well, don't you worry. Here's a nice little tunnel for you to uh, escape to. Or escape from. From the falling down to the tunnel to escape to. Timmy fell down the well. So, there should be something happening. A little... I can't believe Helgen is just completely empty. If I remember, there should be quite a bit of combat happening here. To the point where I almost don't want to go down here. And the wind blew my torch out. Oh god, there is combat. Oh, there is quite a bit of combat. Oh, I missed. Come on. Wow, that's quite a bit of spiders. Uh, okay. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. The game just crashed suddenly. That's, uh, that's very frustrating. Uh, let it be known right now. Always save frequently unless you want to be like me. Very frustrated individual. But we are back where we were before. I did go back and pretty much loot everything that I remembered that I looted. Picked up all the potions, got the spider venom crude, and I got all the... Oh! Brought about these spiders right here. This is all your fault. You're the reason. You're the reason. Okay, no crashes there. Jesus. So yeah, I did pick up all the the ale that'll be emptying and turning into glass at some point. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Oh. oh, okay, I am immune to poison. I am a vampire, remember? Okay, so... Okay, come on. Let's do this thing. Come on, one big finale. Hey. Hey, come on. Oh. Our attack. There you go. Another power attack. He kind of missed. That's good. I was kind of using the body here as like some sort of weird protection, and it kind of worked out, surprisingly enough. Uh, I will extract that venom. It is 10 o'clock because I did rush over here. I did kind of gain an hour. So, let's see. But can I... Do I have the knife on me? I do not. Dang it. But I think I can extract the venom. And I think I will. Okay. I think this would be the most useful. I should probably take... That's okay, I'm not really skinning it. I am just want the ingredients. Okay, so that did pass the time. Where are we at now? We're at longing for blood. I do have spider eggs. I think that was a spider egg. What does it get me? Damage stamina. Okay. Mm. Don't really care about damage stamina too much. Maybe I'll skip that. Yeah. Hmm. No. I changed my mind. Okay, proceed. Spider egg, animal, animal bone. Okay, so I did actually get to overwhelming thirst stage 3 now. So that's not a good thing. Um, kind of regret making that decision. And it's now... 2. 3 o'clock. <laughs> okay. Alright. I may have to spend the night here. Um, hopefully. Let's see what we got here. Raw skeever meat. Skeever tail. I will pick these up just in case. There's no reason not to pick up all this these lovely sweater eggs. Ooh, 72 septums. I will take that. Thank you very much, Joe. Hey, I think that's not bad for a haul. There's actually more up there. Wow, that's 
quite a haul. 24 spider eggs. Not bad, not bad at all. Once I do get into alchemy, I'm hoping I'll be able to unlock the rest of those ingredients and really see what they can do for me. Okay, so there's a bear here. I'm wondering how I can pull this off nicely. So I do have the bow. I think what I'll do is I do have those spider eggs or the spider venom. And I think I will apply that to the orcish heavy bow. I think that would make sense. Because a bear is, well, a bear. And a bear being a bear, as it were, uh, would probably do quite a significant amount of damage to me. So I kind of want to do an opening attack. Doing as much damage as possible. But I have to be pretty good at my shots here. Okay, so the bear already has spotted me. So, but he is just resting. It's going to be his mistake in a second here. Okay, so. That's going to help me out a bit. Okay. Okay, maybe this was a mistake. Come on. Oh, where's he going? Where are you going, bear? I'm over here. Oh, it's because I'm on this rock. That's right. Okay, I need to create a position for myself where I can kind of just retreat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Use the cover. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Another power attack right there. Oh, here we go. There we go. That wasn't bad. So, it, oh, yeah, this little thing like this this cart kind of protected me a little bit from that like initial swipe i think he was going for that initial swipe there and i backed away just enough to avoid his like uh standing up attack as it were yeah so i will not be looting this bear unfortunately i don't have the time or the other solution is i could try skinning the bear but i won't get the pelt for it as much yeah, I think I'm going to avoid it. There's really nothing to gain from taking the bear right now. It is getting pretty close to that time, I would think. Unless I can spend the night here, I have to go back upstairs. By, by upstairs, I mean this stuff. Uh, back up, uh, back at Helgen. Maybe there's like a bed I can sleep in just for the night. I will be at painful thirst, though, come morn. That will be the downside of doing so, but I might not be able to make it back in time. I might just do that. But we have to check. We have to check first. Okay, where are we here? Is it cave? Yeah, it might be a problem. Because if I do sleep here, I will be at painful thirst. That does mean my stamina regeneration will be pretty low. And by low, I mean it, it won't regenerate at all. I'll have to feed on something in order to get it to regenerate. But luckily, I do think there are bandits nearby. I do remember distinctly coming up here and hearing some pickaxe noises happening. So I'm not too worried about uh, heading back home hungry, as it were. So I think in the next section of Helgen, there's like another tower there to the left right over yonder on well not the tower but like another little building i guess that would be the other tower but the, these towers are empty
do think these would be the barracks. If I remember correctly. Yes, okay. So we do have beds here. I can sleep at these beds. No. No. Uh. What? Uh. Okay. If this is the case, then I definitely have to head back, like, right now. Definitely need to head back. Hold on. What's this? Ooh, okay. Not that... Mm, would that help me at all? No, I don't think it would. Iron battle staff. Military supplies. Ooh, wow, okay. This isn't bad. I'll take those arrows. Pretty good haul. Unfortunately, I am am touching... I am getting quite overweight here. So, I'll have to maybe get that another time. My own time. Not sure why the... Beds aren't functional. Why would that not be a thing? That doesn't make any sense. Kind of hoping to spend the night here, but I guess for whatever reason the game just doesn't uh, allow it. Yeah, that's really unfortunate because now it definitely means I have to get get back to my little cave here. Only got an hour, so we got a really skedaddle here. All right, yeah, we definitely only have an hour, so we gotta head back right now. Right that hell now. Oh, sh shit, I ran over a rat. Oopsie. Well, not oopsie, because rats are disgusting creatures. He deserved it. I think uh, I will make it back, but it's gonna be quite close. And luckily, however, I do have one blood. Oh, there, there are wolves there. Oh god, it's not wolves. It's not wolves. They are not wolves. Uh, what? Why are there death hounds here? Why are there death hounds here? Oh god, they're chasing me. Are they chasing me? I'm not looking back. I gotta go. There's no time. I can't be playing with death hounds right now. It's anarchy. Run o running over rabbits. Oh, watch out for these guys. Don't want to cause a scuffle, kerfuffle. But I do have to get out of here. Ooh, what was that? Oh, wolves. Yeah, uh, while I was coming up here, I did kill, I think, those two wolves like I did last time. Okay, so let's also save the game. I, I, I've noticed the game kind of chugging along, so... Let's go back and save. Okay, now I gotta be a little bit cautious here. Don't want to be sprinting. Don't run around the risk of hitting anybody. And causing uh, them to knock down. And then the whole town comes and attacks me. How terrible would it be if I just went to Painful Thirst right now and then have everybody absolutely make a beeline towards me? That would be very upsetting. I would not like that one bit. Okay. Oh, what's that? Oh, another wolf. Get out of here, you. No time. There's no time. It is going to be very tight. I'm probably only going to have 20 minutes in game time to get, like, back inside. <laughs> oh my god, this could be it. I gotta cut through. Gotta cut, cut away. We know who you are. Yeah, there's no time to know who you are. I gotta go. Thank goodness for the horse, otherwise I think there'd be no chance. I would have to, like, literally spend the night at Helgen Keep, but just, like, have my character just, like, stand there until the next night. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible for me. Just, like, just for, like, real-life purposes. Because there's no... Oh, my goodness. It is absolute anarchy that's happening right now. It's getting absolutely crazy. There are death hounds roaming the countryside. 
giants are flying across the screen. It is absolutely insane what's going on right now. But I think we'll make it, like, just in the nick of time before 5 a.m. Oh god. I am actually am quite frightened. This might be it. This might be the end of the playthrough if I don't... not efficient here. And I get lost or something. Where is it? I think it's over there. Okay, I see home. Okay, I'm gonna make it. Is that home? Please tell me that's home. Maybe that's not home. I hope it's home. It is home. Yeah, I'm very tight to the wall right now. Only 20 minutes until the sun comes up officially and then I roast to death. Oh, yeah, as I was saying, perfect prediction of when I'd get back here. Only 20 minutes left. Okay. Okay. I need to wait. Yeah, you're gonna sit there. Okay. Slow walk in. All right, we made it. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I think that will be it for this video. We were successful in getting the, oh my God. I forgot the book. When I returned, I forgot the book. <laughs> I forgot the book. I forgot the book. When, when the game crashed, I forgot the book. I was in, in such a rush to get back to the place where I crashed, I forgot to pick up the book. The whole point. It was the whole point. And now, uh, yeah. My disappointment. This is incredible. My day is ruined. How did that meme go? Oh my god. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for this night. One big, you know, scuffle, kerfuffle. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like videos like these and want to see other videos like them, be sure to like and subscribe. If not, I understand. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.